I should my screen be done? Yes, yes it's loading, it's loading. Oh, I received yes, message yes. of your father. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think from the from the start, I think turned all the notifications of the class directly to that WhatsApp number. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, but that, that means the six uh, six days notification that you have. Okay. Yeah, yeah I have the six days, but the rest from now on, from this class onwards, I guess you can send to that number. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll send that to him. <laughs> no problem. <clears throat> yes, dear. So here, I think that we have to start from the first page. Yes, yes the first page. page. Because the, the last case, case we didn't discuss, discuss that, that much in detail. detail. That, that was the general case. case. It's, it's the last among all the other cases. Okay. The general case. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. Okay, I opened the... Oh, wait. Yeah, I think that general case, Vita. So here that you can understand that it's a given that U equals to C, X to the power P, Y to the power Q upon Z to the power R. Percentage error that will be defined as del U by del X. Give me a second. Mm. Yeah, I'm opening my graphic tablet. Yes. Yes. Because I was looking at that and everything, and I could understand all the other stuff that you did, but this one I'm, I'm getting a little bit confused at at this point. That's why. No, 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 no! Don't be confused with that. Why are you confusing that? Because that I explained that to you, and also uh, uh, I uploaded my class. I uploaded your class. On my channel, so that means I think that if you have any problem, that you can go through there and then you can see that. Yes, yes but can you discuss, discuss this one? This is yes, yes, I'm explaining that to you. That don't worry. Yes, yes, yes. Means simply the C on the screen. Okay. But always remember. Is coming. Let's see this one. Whatever you are seeing here, U equals to C X power P. Over y, C X power P, Y power Q over Z power yeah. R. U equals to C X to the power P, Y to the power Q upon Z to the power R. Okay. So, but as I explained that to you, okay. So it is your question, okay. So here, one more important thing that. With respect to X, Y, and Z, okay, there, uh, means uh, zero error, okay, that will be uh, analyzed as del X, del Y, and del Z, okay, or del fractional X. error, you can say that, okay. Okay. <coughs> so, in that way, beta, you, then uh, next step, that will be your percentage error. Percentage error equals to del u by u equals to percentage error. I am writing, but am I, are you able to hear me clearly? Yes, I can hear you. Great. So So percentage error, I explained that to you, that percentage error, that is 
in that way that whatever that will be in denominator <coughs> you have to write that as the negative power in numerator huh do you remember that oh, oh yeah reverse, yeah, reverse inverse of it yeah yeah, yeah 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 that's right yes so the same thing Give me one second. Ah, take it, charge on. Yeah, I, I'm here. Yes. So, del u by u equals to <coughs> c is your constant, beta. Okay. Yes. C is your right. constant, mm -hmm. and uh, as I explained that to you, the last property of power. Okay. Power. Okay. Okay. So that means so whatever power will be, that will come for or not. The power so, will come before, yes, that's right. Yeah, so here you can see that here is your P, okay? Okay. P and uh, here will be Q. Oh, wait. Continuously, that I can write that, and that will be much convenient. Just see. P to the power P. You can see that it will be P and uh, del X, del X upon X plus, okay. So Q into del Y upon Y. This way we are connecting the power with the Q. Yes. Q del Y upon Y. Okay, and okay. now beta Okay, yes, and now minus Sorry R minus r and del i think it will be plus r because in this case r is the power uh, is positive wait so a second dear i am telling you del okay. z upon z okay okay <clears throat> you didn't saw there that i wrote here percentage only okay Percentage error is this one, bitte. And now it is in negative. Why? Because that Z in Z is in denominator. Okay. Okay. Or oh, miss uh, miss fractional error. You can write there. Wait. Sorry, fractional error. That will be much convenient to understand. A fractional error. Fractional error. Okay. Fractional error. error that define as this one, okay? okay? Then maximum fractional error, just see. Maximum fractional error. Okay? So when you will do maximum fractional error, that will always be positive. Oh, okay, okay. okay. That means, for, that means percentage error can be negative, but fractional error can no, be No, 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 fractional. Sorry, but a percentage error, that was my fault. Okay. But fractional error, so I think that I was thinking something is, that's why I wrote there, percentage error. Otherwise, but a fractional error it be, okay? Fractional okay. error in this one, power, you can see that here will be negative, okay? Okay. But when you write that maximum fractional error, okay? Yes. So then it will be del u by u equals u by to u. p del x by x 
plus q del y by y and plus r del z by del z clear yes that's clear always it will be better i will never change my mind never change my face means never change my face that means whatever that i am writing here it will always be better okay oh okay okay so yes. in fract in fractional error whatever will be in denominator yes you have to write that as negative okay okay because when when it will it will go upward when it will go upward then it will be like therefore you can write that c x to the power p y to the power q and z to the power minus r okay yes that's right then fractional error that will be this one because its power is negative so that's why here will be negative but in maximum fractional error that will be in positive okay, positive. okay. and then percent yeah positive okay and in percentage error means either all will positive either all will negative okay you can also understand that in this way that why that's here you are seeing that here is plus minus okay yes that's right yeah and then whatever values that will be given here we have to plug in over there okay simple ah i get it now i get it now yes that mean, now i get it now so basically we don't have to care about the negative like normally we care about negative but in yes, fact yes. only only one step that when you will write your fractional error okay okay then you had to define that in negative after the next step that maximum fractional error okay firstly fractional error then maximum fractional error that will be defined as in positive okay positive oh, okay 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 are are each and every time i i feel a little bit lazy of going to my cupboard i have a book, i have three or four books in which one that is clearly given 100% i will send you pictures today beta 100% sorry i think that last last few times before that i said to you to send pictures but i didn't send that beta extremely sorry for that just i realized that oh yes i promised that you to send that okay so do you understand that yeah this one i understand this one i understand so i think we can move on to the next image i guess are you sure that you are? oh yes that's the because the rest of the cases oh, I know yes, already. Yes, yes, That's yes. why. No problem. This, this one I was only slightly confused. Oh but the rest my I god! That. Oh my god! Each and every image, <laughs> Arjit. Yes, each yes. and every image that is in. Hmm? Wait. Hold on. Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. It is not coming. Oh, sorry. I have to refresh this one because I was writing on his screen. It will come again. Yes, yeah. the second image, the one at the at the uh, here. Let's see, second image, the one with the pen. Right? Oh, yes, yeah. I understand, but I yeah. understand. But you send me just inverted image. <laughs> okay, no problem. You can invert it in WhatsApp, I think. I, I don't think so, but uh, can you uh can you try clicking the image? Clicking image. Yes, yes, try to try that. Miss without, uh, miss. Uh, yeah, miss without zooming in. Just give me. Yeah, without, without magnifier. Give me yeah, just give me. No, 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 like click like it normally. Normal, normal. normal click. When I 
I click there, then it will my little bit zoom. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't. You can't. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. But I, I think that I can explain the oh, hold on, yes, wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you will understand. Don't worry. Don't worry. <coughs> you think that I have to spend in written or? Uh, uh, oh, you can explain also early. early. That's fine for me. Uh, okay. I just want to. I, I just want to solve this question. This, question. this is example exactly. five. Read the question. So it will be clearer. The mass, the mass of a metal, metal block is 11.5 plus or minus 0 0.5 kg, and its and volume, volume is 1000 plus or minus 20 cm cube. So wait, 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 wait a second. I think that I have to explain that better. Wait, okay, sure, no problem. Yes, because that will be much convenient to understand that better. Because sometimes that if I will explain that verbally, then it may be a little bit problem of understanding. So you can stand over here. Yes, I have time. You have time. Then why? <laughs> okay, just see that. So, beta, they are talking about that mass. Okay, so given quantities, you have to write firstly. Given that is mass. Mass is given to you 11.5 under zero error plus minus means under fractional error plus minus 0 0 0.5 okay and then yeah kg sorry <laughs> kg and uh, volume okay. 1000 volume that is equals to 1000 plus or minus 20 fractional CM. error of 20 centimeter cube okay so, so the so question is asking uh, how would you express the so density, density of the uh, oh yeah the yeah, density the of the material yeah. that's right of the metal. fantastic so you can see that we know suppose that i am urgent so we know that density equals to mass over volume okay 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 That is, firstly, you have to find out this one. 1, 1. 1.5 over 1000. You can ask me a question there, sir, why you are doing this one? Okay? Okay. okay. So, the question, so the answer is that when you'll find a maximum fractional error, then you generally used to write it del d by d or not yes that's yes, right, that's right. D by d. then at that d place i will plug in this value over there okay ah, okay <laughs> yes uh, okay do you have calculator oh uh, yeah right here <coughs> i'll calculate it for you one second uh, calculate it oh yes. i think i got it 1.15 in a standard form into 10 to the power minus 2 is the 10 to the power minus 2 necessary? Oh, yes. Because I'm writing it in a standard form. So it should be in scientific notation. Yes. So I cannot write it as 0 0.0115. Uh, hmm? Or can I write it as 0 0.0115 without changing yes. yes. yes, yes, you can write that one. It's a matter of that. Yes, okay, okay. you can write that bit. Okay centimeter cube okay okay, okay. and now and they now are asking for maximum fractional error maximum fractional error yes so when you will do this one after then the next step that will be there that uh, maximum fractional error fractional error so maximum fractional error that you will write with respect to this one that okay. is del d over d equals to <coughs> del m by m and plus always remember i told you that either that will be in division wait hold on i have to go step by step i have to go step by step just to confirm you Okay. 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 Fractional error that may be defined as this and uh, minus del V by V. Okay. 
Don't be okay. 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 And then maximum fractional error. So maximum fractional error. This you can you can write there directly but I think if you'll if you'll be in habit of writing in this way that will be much convenient to understand okay okay and then it will be positive that is del D by D del D by D equals to del m by m plus okay del v by v clear yeah that's, yeah, right. that's right hello yes i can hear you hello oh, hello yes hello. yeah i'm here i'm here i'm here yes. also oh wait a second wait a second as you are seeing in your book that also you can write there you can assign that in plus minus Plus minus, plus minus, plus minus. Yes. So it will be del m del m by m. So del m that is given zero point five upon m is eleven point five. Okay. okay. Plus del v one th sorry 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 twenties yeah. 20 upon 1000 okay and then plus minus it will be okay yes yes that's right equals to del d over d clear bitte yeah this yeah, is clear good next step then you can write that del d okay equals to del by d d d d d d d d d yes you can write that 1.15 into 10 to the power minus 2 equals to the whole thing that will be plus minus in the same 0 0.5 upon 11.5 plus 20 upon 1000 okay that is del d equals to it will go on other side plus minus solve it oh okay 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 yeah okay. oh firstly i'm writing that one 0 0.5 upon 11.5 plus uh, it will be it will be one over fifty multiplied by one point one five into ten to the power minus two. When you calculate that, then whatever will come, that will be your answer. Okay. That will be my answer. answer. Okay. No, okay. no, 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 no. That will be your del d. Okay. Del D, okay, okay. And then density that will be final answer that is here that is D equals to whatever real value that is a one point one five and one point one five and what will be the value of del D? That, that will be zero point zero seven, okay. Zero point zero seven, okay. okay. Plus minus zero point zero seven and a whole power into ten to the power minus two, okay. Ten to ten the power, to power minus, minus two, two, okay, okay. Yes. It is your perfect answer. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. okay. That's, that's right. right. Yeah, Miss uh, Del D that you get here zero point zero seven into ten to the power minus two. Okay. Yes, that's yes, right. right. Understand, beta? Kilogram. Yes. Wait, kilogram centimeter minus three. Okay. It is density unit. Okay. 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 And then it is your 
it is your uh, del del d okay so your miss perfect density that will be real value plus your miss fractional value whole power 10 to the power minus 2 clear clear yeah, this yeah. sentence <coughs> <coughs> So it is the perfect solution of question what you are seeing there, but all the questions that you have to do in the same way, okay? The same way. Oh, yes. okay, okay, okay. So finally, so finally, we have to add times ten, one point one five times ten to the power minus two, right? Right. Yes. Add ten to the power minus two because that you are converting all that in scientific notation, okay? Scientific notation. Oh, yeah. Or okay. you can say that significant figure that is also that you are including there. Okay. It's a scientific notation to assign a value over here. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. yes I understand this one. I understand this one. I yes. won't say. I'll take a screenshot of this. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, yes, I took a screenshot of this. I took a screenshot of this. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, I think we can move on to the new question, I guess, which is the next. Thing. Oh yes, then I have to refresh that one. Do you understand clearly? Yes, this yes. one I understand clearly. This one I understand. Yeah, it's coming, beta. every time when I used to write on a screen then it will fresh itself wait I am clicking again give me one second um, yes hold on I think that this one is your next one Yeah, this question you are you are seeing ring over there, okay? Okay. So I think that they are asking about volume of that. No, area of that one. Yeah, they'll ask you about area of that. Okay. Fundamentally, okay. we know that area of ring that is defined as pi times r one square minus r two square. Okay. R one square minus r two square. Okay. I think that of seeing this one, they are seeing uh, diameter of all that, huh? External yes, yes. diameter and internal diameter. Yes, yes I, think I think something, something along, along those areas. areas yeah, so. yeah, no, no, no problem of that one. No problem. If that is here, wait a second. I'm again again taking a second. So. This will be, yes, you can see here. So it is like uh, you can write the area of say the region, area of say the region, say the region equals to. Because that is in the form of a ring, okay. So ring formula that we know that pi and r one r one square r one square minus r two r two square, okay. Oh, oh, square, square minus R2 square, square. Okay. okay. Yeah. Or either you have to convert that in diameter. As usual, we know that diameter, radius equals to diameter by 2. So that means in that way, pi, pi within parenthesis, it will be capital T by 2 whole square minus small d by 2 whole square okay? Oh, okay, 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 okay and now
until right here pi and in parenthesis that will be capital D square by 4 minus a small d square by 4. You can also take that pi by 4 as constant and then your value will be here d square minus d square. Clear? d square, d square minus d square. square. Okay. okay. Yes. Now it is your formula. Okay. It is your formula and or you can write also in this way like pi by 4 and capital D minus D and capital D plus D by the formula A square minus B square A square minus B square okay. because A square minus B square equals to A plus B A minus B okay A minus B okay, okay. yes now your main thing that will come here okay okay so that means uh, maximum error you have to find d minus d and maximum error that we have to find d plus d okay d plus d, d, plus d, d okay. okay yes because the values are given to you okay values are given to you so in that way yeah, you can see that. I think that now I can explain that what you, that you are seeing in your book. Maximum error in D plus D, that is your del D plus D. That is del D plus del D, okay? So del, del D, D is given 2 and del small D is given 1. So that will be total 3, okay? Total 3. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yes. And also that when you will do minus, then that that doesn't matter. The value that will be same. Okay. 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 So it will again three. Okay. Again three. Okay. 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 Yeah. Now percentage error. Okay. Or you you can write that. You can see that I am writing that maximum. Yeah, maximum error, maximum error, error of error del d plus d, that is del d plus del d equals to 2 plus 1 equals to 3 mm, okay? And maximum error of del d minus d that will also be del d plus del d okay ah. del d equals to 2 plus 1 again it will be 3 mm okay, ah, okay, 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 okay. now one more important thing that now you have to find the percentage error okay Percentage, percentage error, error. Okay. so fundamentally that percentage error uh, firstly means a fractional error if you want to write that bit. firstly maximum fractional error you can write okay 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 a different color I can explain that to you maximum maximum fractional error I'm not writing there fractional error okay because okay, okay. that will also be the same so the maximum fractional error fractional error that is uh, it will be del a upon a equals equals to del d plus d upon d plus d Oh, sorry. Capital D plus D upon capital D plus D and plus del capital D D minus D upon D minus D. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, because you can see that in your formula, 
in your formula a equals to it is your formula clearly here Del Del I I four is d minus d d plus d yes that's right that's right okay so it this is your formula so we have convert that into maximum fractional error so then it will be this one so max maximum fractional error sorry maximum percentage error multiplied by 100 yes 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 yeah give me one second yes yes Damn here. Yes, yes. Yeah, so now you can plug in your values which are here. Firstly, A delay by A delay by A maximum fractional so sorry maximum percentage error multiplied by 100 beta yes okay. yes I just so, have a little bit of a confusion just a little bit but in the denominator why do we say it's uh, D plus D I'm a bit confused for that Ari yaar your quantity is this one yaar Arjit what you are thinking about beta quantity is this Oh, oh my god, my it's god, just like it's normal. normal, it's just it's like, like X and Y. Ah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, so del D, ah, yeah, yes. So it's like del X upon Y. I mean, del X upon X, like that, right? Yeah, that is the same thing, Beta. So that is this and this. That means you have to write that del D minus D upon D minus D. Simple. That's it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I understand this stuff. It is just like as x and y and del x upon x plus del y upon y. Okay? Yes, that's yes, right. right. And then? Yes. Yes. Yeah, hold on. Ah, I'm erasing that one. Yes. So, in that way, now maximum fractional error. So, maximum fractional error that you are seeing here, percentage error. It will be del A upon A times 100 equals to plus minus plus minus will be also here del del D plus D so del D plus D that uh, we had calculated here do I write that uh, directly? Yeah you can yeah, write, you can write, write directly. directly. Oh yeah that will be great and then it will be set 3 upon uh, original value d minus d that will be what is given there the 4764 okay oh yeah here you can see that one is 64 one is 47 so capital d that will be 64 my plus 47 okay and plus 3 upon 64 minus 47 do you understand this plus d over 3 upon 64 minus 47 yes 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 now you had to calculate that and whatever will come that will be your answer okay that means it will be 3 over 7, 4, 11, 7, 6, 4, 1. What is 17 plus 3 over 4, 2, 1, 17? I think there will be. Yes, yes, basically, so basically equals 20%. 20%. That's, 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 that's right. That's right. Into 100. Okay. And that will be basically equals to 20%. 20 but sir, yes. there's, so a there's a note here. It says the second, second term, del D upon D over D minus D, gives rise to a major source, plus or minus 18%. Of percentage, of percentage error. error. In fact, In fact when, when small d becomes, d becomes very close to the value of larger d, d, 
say D equals 63 plus or minus 1 millimeter, the maximum percentage error will increase to about plus or minus 300 percent. What do they mean by this? Uh, the second term gives rise to the major source plus or minus 80 percent of percentage error. Oh, percentage error they are giving any, anywhere or not. Plus minus one. Two. What is the maximum fractional error? You know that. One more important thing. We don't know that either there will be a maximum fractional error or percentage error will be or not. Or any type of major source. So just calculate this one. Whatever will come, that will be your profit answer. That's yes, that's fine. Yes, right. right. But, but what did you mean by when D becomes, becomes increases in the maximum percentage? I think that element. under a specific condition of that, they are giving this one. You know, because that when in common condition you will calculate, then it will not come twenty percent. It will come eighteen percent. Okay. Oh. It, okay. It, it, it will and round off value that they are taking at is 3%. But here in the last two sentences, they say when d becomes small d becomes very close to the value of larger d, say 63 plus or minus 1 millimeter, the maximum percentage increases to 3. Small, small d and capital D, there are two quantities that are given there. They are asking that if small d, that is 63 plus minus 1 mm, okay? Okay. That means they are changing the value of a small d from 47 to 63. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's why they are saying that in that condition the percentage error would like to increase up to 300 percent. Oh, so oh, is that, so, that when, so, what so what they're, they're basically, basically saying, saying is if the area increases, increases the, uh, the area, area of the smaller, the smaller diameter increases. increases. At, as as to, in a similar value like, like the larger, larger diameter, diameter, it will it the, will, the, 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 the error, error of the experiment, the experiment will increase and as a yes, result it will be yes, much yes. less attention yes, is that. that that's right that's right now you understand that it doesn't mean it is not included into your question that's it it is uh -huh. not included into your question your question sensor is that is this one whatever it will come 19 percent 19.4 18.6 or something else that is your perfect answer they are rounding off that one that's why they are giving plus minus 20 percent okay Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I understand yeah, this one. And once again, uh, uh, can you scroll, scroll up so I can take a screenshot of it? Um, uh, wait a second, dear. <laughs> I think that, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, uh, basically that this one you have to understand major. Yeah. Mainly. Yes. How they are getting that A pi by 4 D minus D, D plus D? Because they had written that directly in the next step. <laughs> Yes. yes, but we just, so we need, just to need to know that the area of the shaded region is the area is pi by 4 times d squared minus d, right? right? Yeah, simply you can apply that area of ring pi r1 square minus r2 square, but they are given terms in diameter. So radius can be written as diameter by 2. So that's why that I change that one and then you will get your final formula like this. Oh, it is quite cool. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, yes, 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 yes. I took a screenshot of the top one. I think I can scroll down a little bit. Oh, oh yes, yes. It doesn't matter of that one because that up to here to here that you and after then there is calculation simply. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Then, then, then we're fine. I think we can move yeah, on to the next step. Only one step after there is okay. Only one step after there is, yeah. Okay, yeah, that, that's, that's awesome. Here, that, that, that we had taken a screen. It's all. Or other, no problem. I suppose that you want to take and you can take. No problem. Otherwise, that your your uh, video uh, that will upload that there. Okay. Do you generally yes, yes. see that or not? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see it in the. I'll see it at the, the end of the week because I, I do an entire revision of the entire week. So that's okay, when I'm. Okay, I'll upload that. Okay, I, I I want to show you. Okay, I want to show that to you. Give me a okay. second. That I I uploaded your video there. Give me sure, one sure. second only. Yes, don't worry about that, that better. Your previous class that was recorded and your today's class is also recording. So everyone, everything that I will upload there, give me one second only. Yes. And yes. If, yeah, I'm going to show you very quickly. Uh, give me one second. I'm opening my channel.
ये भाई चैनल ये नाइन वीडियोस एंड देन यस यू कैन सी दैट इट इज योर क्लास या फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज सो हियर यू कैन सी दैन ऑल दैट थिंग्स दैन या ओके Yeah, I think that anyone has seen it. Yes, you can see that three views. Yes, yes. Okay, so everything that you can see that at least up to that your whole class will run at this time. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. And also one more important thing, you know, one more important thing is distance time. Solid liquid gas fundamental speed distance time also here. Okay, everything that also in chemistry that I suppose you want to understand. Ah, uh, means uh, you know that in between that yeah, geometric sequence and all that. Yeah, then you can see all that. But because over there, what topics are there? Okay. Yes. 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 That's fine. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Now. Ah, uh, we have to go in spin. So we have to cross this one. Oh, I think that you didn't subscribe yet. That's why that you didn't receive any type of notification. No, I haven't I checked. checked. I haven't I checked. Haven't checked. checked. Wow. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> you are one of my strange and <laughs> favorite and strange student. Oh my God! You. Didn't check that. No, I've no, actually, actually not been. Uh, uh, I've not I've been, been on, on there, there on so on, on the recently. Okay, no, 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 no problem. No problem. I'm, I'm just. I'm asking to you. Yeah, yeah, sure. No problem. No problem. No problem. I yes, yes. Some stuff. Brother, don't worry, bro. Yes, in example six. Explain the principle of vernier calipers. So vernier calipers principle that you have to learn. Okay, that is given in your book. Okay, and then basically that example in example that what you are uh, yes. Principle they are explaining that hello 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 yeah principle they are explaining that it can its main part that has its two part it contains two part main part and vernier part okay but that was main scale and vernier scale main scale has one centimeter divided into ten twenty that's like a centimeter okay. And one year scale that has length of ten division, okay, adding up to zero point nine centimeter, okay. Okay. So that means the size of each division on main scale that will be zero point ten centimeter, and size of each division on one year scale that will be zero point nine centimeter, okay. Yes. Yes. That's it. Now it is your fundamental principle over there. Figure shows a steel one year caliper, which are. As used to measure the diameter of a uh, cylinder. So, what is the vernier reading of this in that case? Vernier reading that means vernier scale reading. Yeah. So what is the vernier scale reading in this case? So you can see over here. I think that uh, they are saying that the third, third uh, uh, place of main scale that is coinciding. Okay. Yeah, I think it's one point two three, right? Right. Yes. Because it's one point two in the scale, and in the side scale is zero point one, zero point two, zero point three. It's the closest where it's aligned. So one point. Yes, it is your one, and after then that downwards it is your one year scale reading here, zero to ten. Zero to ten, that is your one year scale reading. Okay, and above that you are seeing that mean scale reading. Okay, 
so now after one after one you can see that which which column that is coinciding exactly so you can see that after one point one two three four five division that is 0 0.10 this is 2 i think is uh, 1 point 2 3 2 1.2 oh yes 1.2 that is here are you able to see here oh hold on i'm going to take a second yeah now you can see are you able to see this one one okay that is One point two. One two. Okay. Yes, yes, that's right. In the main scale, one point two. One point two, and now plus minus what your column that will coincide there. Okay. So clearly you can understand that it is that uh, one two three third column that is coinciding. Okay. to the main okay third column so that means 1.2 plus minus 0 0.03 okay least count least count multiplied by column coincided okay okay yeah yes yes oh yeah here you can see that zero mark okay zero mark on binary scale and that is three simply that they are doing that column matched multiplied by least count that will be your zero error okay or that means percentage uh, person frax, fractional error okay so when you get this one then one year reading that will be 1.23 clear yes now I say that diameter of cylinder, diameter of cylinder, uh, yes, that is your 2.53, oh yes, 2.53, yes, the third one, third column 2.53, that's why that it is your main skill reading, error that is fifth column, fifth column that means it will be that 0 0.005 okay yes. and now percentage percentage error that will be del d by d 0 0.5 0 0.005 divided by 2.53 multiplied by 100 you will get that 0 0.2 percent okay yes yes that's right yes and then they are saying that cross section area they are talking about it is here okay they okay. are seeing that is uh, what I think uh, uh, a sphere cylinder sorry, cylinder okay yes cylinder yes right, right, right. yeah so area that will be pi r square okay pi r square because that's a part that will be circular okay 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 Yes, and in that way, pi, so pi r square, you can also write this one, pi times d by 2 whole square, which will also be equals to pi d square by 4, okay, which you are seeing here, okay. Yes, that's right. Plug in the values, del a by a into 100 equals to 2 del d by, yeah, it is your square so it will be 2 del d by d in 100 so 2 into 0 0.2 that will be 0 0.4 percent that's your answer that's it two yes why is it two times del d oh it's the power is two arjit oh yes oh, yeah. the power yeah and power will come before oh okay okay, okay. So two del d upon two times 100 percent yes that's right that's right. And one last thing. Uh, uh, how do you think I fit the diameter again? The diameter. Yeah, how do you calculate it again? 
diameter of the cylinder you can see that here zero okay three zero and here is three it's before that is 2.5 here just see that oh sorry sorry give me a second and, uh, a different color you can see here that is can you see this place over here here yes yes that's it is your 2.5 okay 2.5 oh wait a second wait a second oh jesse now you can see that it is half okay Oh, oh, that's right. right. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And it is half. So yes, it's yes. before that will be one. Wait, hold on. It will be again one, two, three, four. And then here will be two. Okay? Oh. On main scale. On main scale. Okay? Two. It will be on main scale. Yeah. Okay. So that's why that I place here that it will be 2.5. And then 2.5 is this one, and then 0 0.03 that is your fractional breathing, one year scale. So 2.5 plus 0 0.03, so it will be 2.53. That's why that I write there. Yes, yes, that's right. Great? Yes, yes that's right. 2.5 okay. and 0 0.03. That's that's right. That's good. So remaining questions that we will study in your next class, okay? Yes, that's no problem. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, because these questions that you have to revise, then I think that what your next uh, three or four pages that either you can do by yourself as practice. Otherwise, that I think that there is a next page that is exercise which I have to explain that to you, okay? Yes. So yes, you yes. have to devise all that which I explained that to you up to today, okay? And yes, your class yes. will be uploaded within few hours on air, okay? Okay, okay sure, sure, no sure, problem. Thanks a lot. Have a great time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.